This video is about the validity of the Colombian cedula. This is probably one of my most consequential and important videos that you may want to save and share. Follow along. You're watching DC Born Rob, Racing Borders. And now, the news. Okay, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever it is you're located. Thanks for watching. You're watching DC Born Rob, Racing Borders, and my name is DC Rob. If you are new to my channel, this channel is dedicated to travel number one anywhere even to another city but mostly international travel as well as travel to and from colombia medellin colombia so this video is dedicated mostly for expats who live there and visitors who want to go to medellin on short term uh, anyway uh, let's jump into this first story i've broken this up into two sections because most of the information in the first one well all of the information from the first one came from luis luis is our group moderator so if you're not in our private group make sure you join that soon just email me your whatsapp number and your uh, name to DC Born Rob group at gmail.com and I'll get you in. But because his girlfriend's there and he's going back and forth, I don't know how much he's going back and forth all the time. He's got all the information. So he broke it down to me, uh, broke it down for me. So I'm going to put that in story form. I'm going to jump in right now and then stay tuned because then I'm going to show you what I found from the website as well. But this is an important video. You're going to want to save this and reference this and share it if you need to. Anyway, let's jump into this first story. Colombian Cedula Fact Sheet. The Colombian Cedula is an identity document issued to Colombian citizens by local registry offices in Colombia and diplomatic missions abroad to every Colombian person over 18 years of age. Minors are issued a tarjeta de identidad, which is a basic ID card. One, the Colombian Cedula is the most important identity document for Colombian citizens and foreigners who are permanently residing in Colombia as it is used for almost everything while living in Colombia. It's basically the center of gravity for citizens and foreign residents as it allows one to confirm their identity with government agencies, private corporations, social and health services. Two, the cedula number is requested by many merchant supermarkets, commercial stores, doctor offices, hospitals, government offices, and various modes of public transportation such as buses and trains. For example, a customer enters a D1 store. Upon checkout, cashier will ask for cedula number. Customer usually remembers the number by heart. Cashier enters the number into their system and reads out the ID holder's name. The customer then confirms her or his name. Three, venues usually request customers and clients to produce their cedula to confirm identity and reinforce security. Four, an official cedula contains the following. On the front of the card, you'll see the following. One, a photo of the person. Two, an UIP, a numero unico de identidad personal, which is a unique personal identification number. Three, last name or names. Four, first name or names. Five, nationality. Six, height. Seven, sex. Eight, photo window. Nine, date of birth. Ten, blood type. Eleven, place of birth. Twelve, date and place of issue. Thirteen, signature. Fourteen, expiration date. On the back of card, you'll see the following. One serial number, two photo window, three signature of the national registry, four biometric QR code, five three line data machine readable zone with identification document number. Please note the following. One, cedulas have biometric data and fingerprints uploaded into a government system. If cedula is stolen, thief can assume owner's identity if photo looks like that of the thief. However, if cedula is stolen, fingerprint and biometric data will not match the thief. Two, cedula number is connected to the immigration database. Most venues, government and healthcare offices have access to immigration databases in order to input cedula number and confirm identity of person. Three, cedula numbers are also used to award Colombian citizens and residents points, similar to loyalty points based on purchases. Merchants may have promotions along with points. For liners under the years of 18 carry only a basic ID card. Liner ID cards do not have biometric data and fingerprints stored. These are easier to tamper with and falsify. Five, if approached by someone who claims to be of age, one can ask to see the cedula in order to confirm that it is not stolen. Ask cedula owner to recite basic information on the card. If owner cannot remember, this should raise a red flag. Also, you can basically take the cedula to any market or store as the merchant could easily confirm identity by scanning the card or inputting cedula number into their system to confirm validity. 
Six, tourists are usually never asked to produce a cedula. This is because locals already know that tourists do not have one and therefore no points will be awarded anyway. Seven, Colombian citizens and permanent residents are obligated to carry their cedulas on them at all times as police will request it if stopped. Eight, newly produced Colombian cedulas are now digital which is stored in one cell phone. Very similar to that of the Apple Wallet, new digital cedulas will act like a passport and allow one to travel to Bolivia, Ecuador, Peru, Argentina, Brazil, Chile, Paraguay, and Uruguay, similar to a U.S. passport card. Five, cedulas are required in order to open bank accounts, enter into contractual agreements, and even open a contract cell phone service account. Okay, so there you go. Uh, one of the biggest takeaways there is that you can check the ID at a store, at a hotel, at a restaurant. They should be able to pull up that number and verify that that number corresponds with the person that's holding that ID. But check this out right quick. Yo, I heard she ready to go. Want to keep the same energy after the show. Hey, yo, I heard she ready to go. That's right. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for everybody who has donated to this channel. That's why I'm here right now. Thank you for the support, for the good words of affirmation via email, um, email and comments as well. So much appreciated. Let's jump into the second story, which I got from the website where you actually, where they actually log on and, and go through the process. The Colombian cedula is their citizenship card. Currently, with the digital transformation process, you will find two physical formats of citizenship cards that are valid for Colombians to identify themselves in all civil, political, administrative, and judicial acts. Personalized physical security card in polycarbonate and digital citizenship card. Since December 2020, the issuance of the digital citizenship card began, which can be carried by the holder of the document in its physical version or on their cell phone, for which the application cedula Digital Columbia must be downloaded, which it is available in stores, App Store and Google Play Store. It will be functional on iOS 12.0 and Android 9.0 devices onwards. This document is based on ABIS technology. The Automated Biometric Identification System, Automatic Identification System by Biometrics that allows automatic verification of the identity of people by comparing their facial morphology. This system prevents the same person from being granted two identity cards with different identities. How do you receive it? The digital citizenship card is delivered in two versions, the personalized physical security card in polycarbonate, which once issued and delivered to its owner, enables the generation of the second version, the digital citizenship card, which will be activated with facial biometrics on the Colombian smartphone displayed in the same way as the physical version, for which procedures is the digital ID received. Currently, the digital citizenship card format is issued for those who reach the age of majority, that is, for first-time processing and for those who require a duplicate as long as they already have the personalized security card in polycarbonate or yellow card with holograms. Those who have not renewed the laminated white or laminated brown ID must first obtain the yellow one with holograms. At the moment, it can be carried out in 760 registry offices in the country. The citizenship card in its digital version is functionally equivalent to the citizenship card in its physical version, with which Colombians will gradually be able to fully identify themselves in remote and face-to-face -face digital scenarios with the digital card and will have the highest conditions for the security of your data, guaranteeing full identification and mitigating the risk of impersonation. Here's the front face physical card in polycarbonate. Here's the back face of physical certificate in polycarbonate yellow ID with holograms. Since May 2000, the yellow citizenship card format with holograms has been issued based on AFIS, which is the automated fingerprint identification system technology, which allows automatic verification of people's identity by comparing fingerprints. This system prevents the same person from being granted two identity cards with different identities. This identity document has physical and technological characteristics that minimize the possibility of forgery, including a laminated hologram, anti-photographic security background, made with metallic inks, microtext, and barcode containing a security algorithm, the biographical information of the citizen, and biometric fingerprint information. Okay, so there you go. There should be enough information between these two stories to get you going. Due diligence on your own, fellas, for real. Check these IDs. Don't get hemmed up in something you should not be hemmed up in. Please. I, I saw, according to my last story, a couple of, what, last week, man, some troubling comments. So 
um, yeah, disturbing comments. So I want you guys to be prepared. Don't play around with the age thing. Make sure they're late 20s, early 30s, or whatever you got to do, but make sure you check these IDs. Okay, and it looks like they're going to digital form as you see in the story, but I wouldn't trust anything from a digital form. I mean, not unless you can scan it yourself and run the numbers yourself, but give it to a cop. A cop can check it for you. Okay, and the, the last biggest thing is it should have that hologram. If it doesn't have the hologram, it's a wrap. Okay, must have that hologram on both types of IDs, must have that hologram. So be careful, guys. Remember, travel, but travel safe. Headed to Medellin, Colombia? See my guy Andres with Nomad Travel for safe airport pickups and drop-offs and tours. Contact information in the description below. If you're in Medellin and you need dental work done, from a basic cleaning to major reconstructive surgery, come see my guy, Dr. Carlos Mori. Contact information in the description below.